Hey guys, let's see how we designed an ultra wide band Vivaldi antenna using HFSS. Now let us see specifications of our antenna operating at 1 to 8 gigahertz. First is the size of the antenna. Next is the bandwidth. The bandwidth of our antenna is expected about 7 gigahertz. Next, the wideband operation. Even though radar frequencies are enough, it should operate on the wideband level to fulfill the ultra wideband condition. Finally, the average voltage standing wave ratio and gain. The antenna should have an average VSWR of less than 2 to get a good antenna output and a gain of 1 dB is expected at selected frequencies. Why Vivaldi antenna can be used for ultra wideband operation? The ultra wideband functionality is due to their tapered slot design. Their upper frequency is limited by the width of the gap while the lower frequency is limited by the size of the opening. Important parameters considered for designing our antenna. The dielectric substrate FR4 epoxy, then the conductor we are using is copper, then the dielectric thickness 1.6 mm and the lower cutoff frequency is 1 GHz. From studying various papers, we arrived at the antipodal Vivaldi antenna and the designed physical parameters are as follows. The important components of the antipodal Vivaldi antenna corresponding to simulation. First is the substrate FR4 epoxy. The dielectrics are used to improve electrical and mechanical stability. They are used to reduce the size of the antenna, that is, higher the permittivity, lower the size, and can help to produce displacement current which produces time varying magnetic field. This can in turn produce time varying electric field and a propagating electromagnetic field is created. Hence, a substrate can enhance antenna's radiation capability. Next is the radiating patch. Every patch antenna contains radiating patch and ground plane which determines the operating frequency of the particular antenna. Varying the shape of the patch changes the operating frequencies and other antenna parameters such as return loss, gain, radiation pattern and directivity. Next is the ground plane. Every electronics or electrical out there needs a reference so that it can compare and tell what exactly we are dealing with. Here, both radiating patch and ground plane are a perfectly electric material, keeping the ground plane at zeroth potential. Next is the excitation port. For simulation purposes, we use an excitation port called lumped port and select ground plane as the reference. This simulates as we are giving input to the antenna. Generally, we use lumped port if the feed is a line and if the reference impedance is known. Here the impedance is 50 ohms. Then we will see air boundary which is vacuum. To run the simulations, we should define a boundary at which the antenna acts into. This helps us complete the simulations. 3 hours mm. later. Finally, the simulation has been completed. Now, let's take a look at return loss. For an antenna to be operating at a frequency, its return loss should be less than minus 10 dB. Hence, more negative the return loss, higher the power of signal at the main lobe. We are getting a better return loss at higher frequencies and a good return loss at lower radar frequencies. Okay, then voltage standing wave ratio. It is calculated using the return loss. VSWR is used to define the operating bandwidth. If the VSWR is 2, it means that 10% of the total power is reflected. Hence for a good antenna, the VSWR should be less than 2. Subsequently, let's see the 2D radiation pattern and gain. Since it is an ultra wide band antenna, the results will be similar to isotropic antenna which means it radiates power equally in all directions. At the radar frequency 1.38 GHz the backlobe power is very less and the gain at 90 degree is 4.5 dB. Finally let's summarize this ultra wideband antipodal Vivaldi antenna. The size of the antenna is 230 by 205 by 1.6 mm which is feasible for manufacturing process. Also, the bandwidth is 7 GHz, starting from 1 to 8, and the antenna works well beyond 8 GHz.
Now from the bandwidth results, the wideband operation of antenna is satisfied. Last but not the least, antenna has average VSWR of 1.6 and gain is above 1 dB for the radar frequencies.